Welcome to the first video which supports the first topic, data representation for the IGCSE and O-level computer science course from Cambridge. We're going to be looking today at number systems but primarily binary and what we're going to cover is how and why computers use binary to represent data, the denary, the binary and a little bit about the hexadecimal number system and converting numbers between denary and binary. The next video, video 2, will be about hexadecimal. Okay, so what is binary, first of all? As your knowledge increases working through this IGCSE course, you will start to realize that no matter how complex computer systems are, the basic blocks in all computers is the binary number system. This mathematical number system is a way for a computer to carry out calculations. So what does that mean? Binary is a number system that only has two possible values, 0 or and 1. In digital data storage, memory, communications, or processing, the 0 and the 1 values are sometimes called low and high, or on and off, like the switch I've got here. So how does a computer understand binary? This system is chosen since it consists of 1s and zeros only. A computer contains millions, trillions of tiny, tiny, tiny switches known as microtransistors, which must be in either an on or an off position. This lends itself logically to the binary system. A switch in the on position can be represented as a 1, like so. A switch in the off position can be represented as a 0, like we see here. This picture here, this is an example of a CPU, the brains of the computer. In this CPU, the central processing unit, it's a piece of hardware that enables your computer to interact with all the applications and all the programs that are installed on your computer. A CPU interprets the program instructions and creates the output that you interface with when you're using your computer. So, binary systems. Computers are electronic machines. We can see that it's plugged in here. Normally a laptop has a battery or it's connected to the mains. The computer uses electricity, not mechanical parts, for its data processing and storage. Electricity is plentiful. Uh, moves very fast through wires, and electrical parts fail less, much less frequently, than mechanical parts. The internal data processing and storage is electronic, which is fast and reliable, as long as a computer is plugged into the power or has a battery power pack um, attached to it. Here we can see your data, whether that's uh, messages, whether it's text, sound, movies, whether it's your um, Apple Wallet, whether it's emails, all of these, in order to work on a computer, get converted into binary values, into binary data, zeros and ones. We have here what they call a byte of information. Each of these blue rectangles we can call a bit. There are eight bits, which equals a byte. Eight bits in one byte. B-Y-T-E. Okay. If the value is zero, it is off. If the value is 1, it is on. To recap, binary is a mathematical number system, another way of counting that is done by a computer. All of our data is read by the computer as binary. A binary number is made up of 1s and zeros that represent microtransistors switched on or switched off. There are no 2s, no 3s, no 4s, no 5s, all the way up to no 9s, simply 1s and zeros. Obviously in the base 10 number system, we had 1, 10, 100, everything's going up. 10 to the 0 is obviously 1, 10 to the 1, 10, 10 to the 2, 100, times in by 10 every time. So for example, in the decimal number system, I have the value 27,639, 27, which would equate to 2 lots of 10 to the 4, 10,000, 7 lots of 10 to the 3, 1,000, seven thousands, six one hundreds, three tens and nine units or nine ones. So here we can see we've got two to the four, which two two lots of ten thousand, seven lots of a thousand, six lots of one hundred, ten lots, three lots of tens, and nine units or nine ones. Now in a binary system these go up in times two, not times ten, times two. So 2 to the 0 is obviously 1 times 2 times 2 times 2. So it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. And to get to a byte of information, 
128. So let's look at this number here. 1001010. Okay, well that's one lot of 1 to 8, one lot of 16, one lot of 8, obviously no lots of 4, no lots of 64 of 32, and two lots of 1s. So if we add all those together, we should get a denary value of 154. So what I'd like to do, pause the video, have a little go, have a look at the previous slide if you want to, have a little go at how you would convert these. I will share the answer with you whenever you're ready. Okay, so obviously the first one, one lot of eight, one lot of one is nine. This one, one eight, one four, one two, one one, 15. The next one, one lot of one to eight, plus one lot of eight, plus one lot of one is one three seven. And the final one, one lot of one to eight, one lot of 64, one lot of eight, and one lot of four would equal 204. We're basically adding all the ones together whichever number they are under. So let's have a little go at this one. Convert the denary value 207 into binary. How do we do that? Well, we put a 1 under the 128. Why do we do that? Because we're starting with 127 and we're going to put, we're going to see what numbers in here. A little bit like in primary school when you're working with coins and you want to get your change or you want to use your coins to add up to a certain total. We're going to do the same here. If we pretend we've got a coin with a value of 1, a coin with a value of 2, and so on and so forth, up to one coin with a value of 128, we can only use one of these one coin at a time. We can't put two lots of 128 in. So we're going to use one coin, which is 1 to 8. So we take that away from 207, 207 to get 79. We'll have one lot of 64 and have 15 left over. So therefore we'll have no loss of 32, no loss of 16, but 8 for 2 and 1 add up to 15, so we've got one lot of each of those. So the denary value for 207 would be 11001111, like so. Okay, there is another method which I'll share with you now. Method 2 is successive division by 2. So we start off with the denary number and we divide it by 2. What we're doing here is going to be we're going to be looking for the remainders. So we start by writing the number down we wish to convert, 207. We divide it by 2. We get a remainder 1. Okay, so there's two lots of 103 in 207 with one left over. We carry on dividing it by 2 again. We've got remainder 1 there. Divided by 2, we've got remainder 1. Divided by 2 again, we've got remainder 1. 12 is obviously an even number, so we're not going to have any, any remainders there. 6 is an even number, no remainders. 3 is an odd number, it's got a remainder, and 1, obviously we can't divide that by 2, so that's got a remainder 1 in there. Okay, so we'd read from the bottom, and basically the number is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, which, as we said before, is what we had originally. Okay, so if you want to have a go at these numbers, doing it that way, um, please have a little go. Try both binary to denary conversions and denary to binary conversions there. I'll give the answers as soon as you are ready. Please pause the video while you have a little go. And there are the answers. 137, 204, and then we've got 01. I've written it as a byte of information, i.e. Um, eight characters, eight numbers, 01000011 for 67, and 235 is 11101011. That is it. Just to recap on a couple of terms we've used in this video, which you may not be familiar with, um, a bit, the term bit comes from a shortened version of binary digit. A bit is the basic unit of information for computers. Binary means two, of course. So it's the one or the zero value. Two being one or zero. And then a byte, I've got to show you, it shows you here, is, and we mentioned this before, basically eight bits um, joined together. 
a string of 8 bits equals a byte. So each keyboard character is stored as a byte. Again, we'll get onto ASCII a little bit later on. So for example, the value A is stored as 01000001. More about that later. Okay. That is it, ladies and gentlemen, for this first video. Um, a whistle stop tour of binary. I hope you found it useful. Um, please tune into the next video for Exadecimal. Thank you very much indeed. I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye for now.